Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Upworld Games, and we have more news about Ghost Recon Wildlands, about classes, and will there be a multiplayer PvP? That's what we're going to be talking about today, so let's dive in. So if we look back to the reveal trailer for Ghost Recon Wildlands, we see many different options including a stealth option, long range distance option, and even an ambush option. So you can imagine that they will have a skill system that is based around these different type of play styles, or better yet, you can make your own classes it seems. And then we could head over to the PlayStation Store and see further evidence of a kind of class based system. You will notice several new details about Ghost Recon Wildlands, including new pre-order bonuses such as avatars for your PSN IDs. Now these include class based avatars, including assault, engineer sniper and support so with that it seems that ghost recon wildlands may actually support four separate classes during your playtime or at the very least a skill based system that is separated into four parts maybe it'll be like the division who knows but with an open world game it might make sense for the player to make his own classes considering open world games are all about freedom but, you know, Ubisoft's other title, Rainbow Six Siege, did extremely well with its operator system, which was more of a class-based system, which really did separate roles. So, it'll be interesting to see if Ghost Recon Wildlands will cater towards Rainbow Six Siege-type classes or the Division's freedom. Let me know what do you guys prefer in the comments below. Now, Rainbow Six Siege has been immensely successful with its operator system, so I wouldn't be surprised if you could specialize within each certain class and i really do hope that they have unique abilities and weapons to each class to really flesh out each role in the squad while giving enough freedom to change up weapons and gear between missions but i do think that it's important to have some uniqueness to the classes at least in abilities skills or something and i think that would also up the replay value as you play ghost recon wildlands over time now remember, it's likely we'll be seeing the main operations base playing a key role here, also known as mob. So you and your squad may be heading back there often to claim rewards, obtain missions, upgrade weapons and gear, and perhaps even change up classes or characters. Of course, I'm completely speculating on this bit. We don't even know what mob stands for, but it is likely a military acronym. And the Gold Editions map does indicate there could be some sort of base as seen here. But Robbie, what about multiplayer PvP? We haven't heard anything about multiplayer PvP. Well, by looking at all of the information from the official website to the PSN store listing and other store listings, there is only mention of co-op so far. Up to four players now, of course, can be played offline completely without internet connection with AI, or you can hop on with actual friends or randoms, I assume. Now, strangely, the standard edition for Ghost Recon Wildlands lists 32 players, but this could definitely be an error as the Gold Edition and the Collector's Edition only makes mention of 1-4 to four players. I expect this game to be primarily focused on an amazing, exceptionally deep co-op experience, and just maybe like GTA V, down the road we could see a more in-depth online offering for Wildlands in the future, but only time will tell. But that brings me to my biggest question for you guys. Do you want to see PvP in Ghost Recon Wildlands? Is that something you absolutely have to have or are you fine with a cooperative PvE or even just single player? I'm curious to see if the Wildlands team will instead decide to keep building the cooperative space over the next year instead of thinning DLC content between PvP and PvE. And we will be seeing a season pass for Wildlands. But only time will tell. We shall see. I honestly wouldn't mind seeing PvP, that's my opinion, as previous Ghost Recon games have always offered this. And more importantly, the gunplay looks better than ever here. That's probably why I would want PvP the most, because the Division is not what I expected it to be with the PvP. It's definitely more of an RPG system under the hood that takes over the entire game, even the PvP experience. So it seems like Wildlands is going to be going in the other direction. So. Maybe in time we'll get PvP, but right now, honestly, I am thrilled with what they are doing with the co-op. And hopefully they just focus wholeheartedly on the cooperative experience. Because it's just nice to know that you don't have to worry about someone disrupting your game. 
and you don't have to worry about being too competitive in that manner because sometimes competitive games can be extremely frustrating and I think Wildlands can carve an identity of its own by offering this crazy in-depth uh, cooperative experience in the open world. So guys, that does it for the Ghost Recon Wildlands news. Let me know, do you want to see a full-blown class system or do you want to have the complete freedom to basically build your own character like the Division? Of course, we will be getting more from Ghost Recon Wildlands very, very soon. At E3 2016, we're going to be getting brand new gameplay demonstrations and tons and tons of information. Hopefully, we get a solid release date too, but I will have all that information right here on Open World Games, of course. Thanks guys for watching, stay tuned for more Ghost Recon Wildlands and of course more open world gaming goodness and I will see you guys later.